Welcome to Thai Tech. This is Emmanuel Cyprian. In this video, I want to share with you the updated risk management framework steps. Like some of you must have known or read that NIST has updated its publication from NIST 837 to Ref2. In this NIST publication, that is where we're going to be looking at the updated risk management framework steps. Now, what are the updated steps? So these are the updated risk management framework steps. They are preparation step, categorize, select, implement, assess, authorize, and monitor. Each of these steps has tasks that needs to be performed in order to adequately authorize an information system into production. These steps are necessary to making sure that every information systems are adequately protected before being deployed into production. Now let's look at each of these steps, what it means. There are seven steps in the risk management framework. A preparatory step to ensure that organizations are ready to execute the process and six main steps. All seven steps are essential for the successful execution of the RMF. Step one, prepare. What does the preparation step mean? It means to prepare to execute the RMF from an organization and a system level perspective by establishing a context and priorities for managing security and privacy risk. This means that before you can successfully execute all the risk management framework steps, you need to have adequate preparation. What are the tasks that need to be prepared? Who are the, what are the roles that needs to be involved? Who are those that needs to manage each of those roles? Which publications, reports, documents, standard needs to be reviewed to making sure that the remaining RMF steps are adequately executed? That is what the preparation steps you know, talks about. Two, categorize. What is categorization? Categorization means to classify, to separate, to sort. And what are you sorting? What are you categorizing? You're categorizing information systems and the information processed, stored, and transmitted by that system based on an analysis of the impact of loss. It means that before you can adequately secure or protect an information system, you want to determine the sensitivity of that system or the criticality of that system or how important that system is to the organization. Before you can adequately determine the sensitivity, that is what we, is known as you need to categorize. You categorize based on impact level. There are three levels of impact, high impact, moderate impact, and low impact. According to NIST 800-60, Revision 1 and 2, Volume 1 and 2, it helps you and it guides you on how to adequately categorize an information system. Also, NIST uh, FIPS 199 is one of the NIST publications that will also guide you on how to categorize information and information system. Two, once the categorization has been done, the next step is select. What are you selecting? you'll be selecting an initial set of controls for the system you have categorized. That controls needs to be tailored as needed to reduce the risk to an acceptable level based on an assessment of risk. Which means that in NIST 853 revision 5 and NIST 853 B, these are the NIST publication where you will find all the security controls that is needed to adequately secure the information system. So the security controls are there and they are recommended based on the categorization of each information system. Once the controls has been selected and tailored, the next step is implement. What is implementation? It means to configure that system. It means to, uh, it means to harden the server. 
That is what implement means. So it says implement the controls and describe how the controls are employed within the system and its environment. It means that once the controls have been selected, the next step is for you to go ahead and implement the controls. After implementing the controls, there is also the need to document and describe how the controls are implemented. And that you will go to document that in the SSP, which is now known as Security and Privacy Plan. Once the control has been implemented and documented, the next step is assess. What is assessment? Assessment means to audit. It means to examine. It means to confirm. It means to check, to verify. That is what assessment means. It also means to perform a gap analysis to making sure that the controls that have been implemented, they are implemented properly, they are working as intended, and then they are producing desired results. So in assessment, there are three methods of assessment, examine, interview, and testing. The next publication that will guide you to making sure you adequately assessing the system is NIST 853A Revision 4. Once the assessment is completed, the next step is authorize. Authorization means to now say, yes, this system is deemed to be adequately secured. Go ahead and deploy into production. Or this system is not adequately secured. We cannot allow the deployment of this system into production. What are the documents that need to be reviewed in order for authorization to happen? But before we talk about that, authorization means that you authorize a system or common controls based on a determination that it risks to organizational operation, asset, individuals, or other organization and the nation is acceptable. So what this is saying is, before a system could be deployed into production, there is the need to certify that the risk is within acceptable level. And before that can be done, the authorizing official is the one responsible for authorizing the system. He needs to review authorization package. What is contained in the authorization package? SSP, SAR, and POEM. But remember, SSP and SSP is now called Security and Privacy Plan. SAR is now called Security and Privacy Assessment Report. And then POEM is still the same thing, Plan of Action and Milestone. The authorizing official reviews these three documents and that is how he will be able to determine if the risk to the organization, to individuals, to asset or to the nation is acceptable. If the risk is acceptable, he will issue authorization to operate. If the risk is not acceptable, he will deny authorization to operate for that system. So that is what authorization is. And remember, authorized step is one of the most important steps in risk management framework. So if you are preparing for the CAP certification, pay attention to the authorized step. The last step is the monitor step. Monitor step means that you monitor the system and the associated controls on an ongoing basis to include assessing controls effectiveness, documenting changes to the system and environment of operations, conducting risk assessment and impact analysis, and reporting the security and privacy posture of the system. This means that once the system is authorized to operate, it the next step is to making sure you consistently and regularly monitor the effectiveness of the controls that are implemented on that system. Monitoring step is also one of the most important steps in the risk management framework. Monitoring step ensures that controls are effective over time. Monitoring steps ensures that any changes that happens to the system and its environment of operations are adequately documented. Monitoring step also ensures that risk assessment are conducted, impact analysis are documented. So that is what risk management framework steps is all about. There are seven steps in total now, according to NIST 
37 revision 2. If this video has been helpful for you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share this video, like this video, and turn on your notification button so you can be getting more content from Tytech Consult. Thank you.